Hey guys, welcome back to another show. GM Poke here, and I want to show you guys what we're sending off. Uh, this will get mailed out tomorrow. We've got a bunch of cards going off to PSA. I think it's like 150, 558, somewhere in there. So I'm going to go through, show you the cards I'm sending off in this batch. And if you're interested, when they come back, if you want to pick any up for me, I would love to do that. None of these will go into personal collection. They'll all be uh, sold off as soon as they get back. So why don't you guys check out the video? All right, guys, let's check this out. I do have a couple giveaways today that we will do in this video. I've got a couple cards here, just a couple promo cards I had sitting there. They actually look pretty well centered. Uh, nothing that I was enough to get created just because I don't think there's enough demand to make it worth it. But I got a couple names here. They're written on the back of the cards. I will shuffle those up and we will do these two giveaways um, just a little bit later. So if you guys want to uh, be in giveaways, all you have to do is drop comments. Drop a comment on this video. Let me know which card you're looking for uh, when it comes back or any experience you have with grading and you'll automatically be entered for the next drawing that we do so i will be going through and uh do another drawing either i didn't have time to try and set it up for live today so i'm just going to record it and then post it but uh in the next live video for sure we'll be doing a giveaway and going forward any point forward from today any comments up to that video uh you'll get the drawing like today so let's get through let's kind of show you what we have first off we've got the prime catcher so this is one of the A-spec cards, one of the only ones I actually had that were centered well enough. So that's a pretty nice looking card. We have a uh, Skizzer EX. And actually, there's two. Yep, there's two. We're just enough two of those. So hopefully they'll come back looking pretty nice. We have a Mudsdale. Actually, we have two Mudsdales. I do remember that. We have two Mudsdales. Uh, both are going to be illustration rares from the TEF or Temporal Forces. We have a uh, Torterra EX. I'm going to mess up the names, guys, and I apologize. We have the Torterra EX. I want to be going off. And these are already, I already have this mission farm already done. I just got to pack it up a little bit tighter. But I figured I'd show you guys first. We have the Licky Tongue. Some pretty nice pulls lately. These are all pulled since uh, our last submission of uh, cards. What is it? It's just kind of junk on it. All these have been taken out, wiped down already. We've got the Iron Crown EX Hyper Rare. We've got the Iron Crown EX uh, Double Rare. That one's like a little top heavy, but we're going to give it a try. Just might as well. And we've got the Iron Crown uh, EX Ultra Rare. So just a couple different levels of Iron Crowns. We have the Master Ball. This one looks a little off, but I figured, what the heck? I'm just going to try it. Well, you will see. Worst case... We get it back in like a nine, I think. Um, and then we'll throw it into like some mystery box. I do think, yep, there's two of those. We have two Garchomp EXs. This should be from, yeah, this is from Paradox Rift. So two of those going off. Hopefully get back some nice little Garchomps. And then I've got the Walking Wake EX. Pretty nice looking card. We've got the Great Tux EX. Again, this is going to be, as you can look down there, from the... Uh, Paldine Fates collection. Then we've got the Gouging Fire EX. This is from Temporal Forces. I've got a Hoopa EX way back to Paradox Rift. And that one's sitting on the table when I was packed. So I was like, ah, let's give it a try. We got Amaroge EX. This is back from Paradox also. Opened a ton of Paradox. I uh, thought we have the Alteria EX again from Paradox. We have, oh, a Fari Giraffe, two of them. These are from Temporal Forces. Just thought it was a pretty cool looking card. So figure we'll send off two of those. We have a Wagatrio EX. This is also going to be Temporal Forces. Uh, and since Temporal Forces is pretty new, we're going to send off a bunch of them. I have more Paladine Fates that didn't get off my first batch. They have like 100 Shinies that went out. We get the Reverie. And these are uh, a bunch of them that just get on the first batch. We have a Snover. We've got the Charmander. That one's nice looking. And a second Charmander. Shiny. Then uh, we have two of these. So there's going to be two Charmeleon Shinies from the Paldine Fates. Then we've got the Charizard from Paldine Fates, regular EX. Got another Charizard from Pokemon Go. It's a pretty clean one. I figured we should send that one off. Then I've got an old school Charizard. This is the GX from Sun and Moon. This was the Detective Pokemon uh, time frame. We have, um, this is promo number 56, Charizard EX. I think it came under like the premium boxes. Then we have a promo 74. I think this was from the 10s. And then another promo 74. 
and another promo 74. And then we have Obsidian Flames number 215. So we got another Charizard. Just tons of Charizards going off. This is going to be a nice one. Can't wait to get this back. I'm hoping they nail me with an upcharge. That means that uh, it comes back as a 10 and they hit me with an upcharge. You guys let me know your opinion. If you ever sent off a card uh, at a lower price range, um, and then what? how often do they hit you with an upcharge? My fear is that they'll just say, fine, you you want it to be a 9, we'll give you a 9. And if, if they send it back as a 9, we'll crack the case and resend it uh, at a higher time frame or price frame. Then we have an old school uh, e-reader card. This is the Pikachu from, I think, 2005, I think is the time frame that one's from. A Gardevoir, reverse hollow, super nice, super clean, right? Just amazing looking card shaped for how old it is. But yeah, so Gardevoir uh, reverse, pretty nice. This was from the premium uh, box also. This is the Charmander that has uh, got the hollow outside. Then the Charmeleon, which also has the hollow, uh, which are pretty cool because uh, just in, in variation of the card, we have a Gengar uh, reverse. We have another Gengar reverse. We have a Gengar reverse. And then we have the Gas. They have two of these. We're going to send both these off. So this is from the Temporal Forces, uh, the Gas Illustration Rare. Then we've got a Gengar EX from... Um, Temporal Forces. That one actually looks pretty cool. I kind of like the look of that car compared to all the rest of them. Then we have a Gengar EX. It's an Ultra. We have the Morty's Conviction, which has a Gengar on there. Now I'm hoping again that they nail me with an upcharge because these are going on in bulk rate. So I'm hoping that they nail me with an upcharge and they get it back and the time frame is actually still worth uh, quite a bit. Uh, we have a Squirtle from Mew. And then we have the War Turtle from Mew. Uh, I've sent those each off in the past and they came back uh, not the best. I'm hoping to get a better rating. We got a Blastoise EX uh, from you. I didn't have any of the other Blastoises to send off, but I have those all in a row. So hopefully, uh, if we can get some tens, they'll be sequential numbers. So Iron Leaves, this is uh, again one I'm hoping to nail me with an upcharge. Tell me it's worth more than I have it um, listed for. We have Iron Boulder EX. Again, super happy if they want to nail me with an upcharge and tell me the card's worth more. Then we've got a Switch. So this is back from you, another Hyper Rare. Uh, we've got a, uh, this is from, so it's not a Hyper Rare, but it is a gold card. It's the Lure Module from Pokemon Go. So just a bunch of gold cards going off here. We've got the Reversal Energy from Paradox Rift, the Hyper Rare. We have two, I have two Chin Pals. So we're going to send those off. We have two Mews. This is from uh, the Mew collection or from Pokemon 151. So two Hyper Rare Mews. We have the Roaring Moon EX Hyper Rare. You can tell how many packs have opened, right? Telgy Fire uh, Hyper Rare. The Walking Wake Hyper Rare. The Raging Bolt. Hyper rare. So yeah, we've we've opened a lot. Okay, we got the Rika. I'm really hoping that this one takes off, becomes worth something. It's from Paradox Rift. I'm hoping that card will go up. Okay, Iron Hands. I tried one of these um, last time. I ended up getting a nine. So I'm hoping we can finally do a ten. Uh, we've got the Grudon. Opened up a ton. Of Paradox Rift, as you can see from the hits. Only one of those. Only saw one. Okay, we got the Reuniclus. I don't know how to say that name, so I apologize. Cool looking card. We're going to just do a bunch of illustration rares here. We have the Relly Chemist. Okay, let's keep going. Snom. Everyone loves the Snom. I don't really fully get it myself, but, um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. We've got the uh, Metagross. We have a uh, Mencino. And then I accidentally, when I put it in, I thought I had two Mencinos. I was doing it late trying to get it in uh, last minute on the deal for the month and I actually have the Evolution version here. Um, so it's actually recorded as two Mencinos. So when they get it, they're going to have to update it. I hope it doesn't delay it too far. Uh, I, if I canceled, I would have lost the rate that I got on it and I didn't want to do that. Uh, Bronzor. We have two Charger Bugs. Little campfire scene. 
We have a Meltan. This is pretty cool too. Little dudes like leaping up there. So Meltan's is pretty awesome. Okay, then we have got the Litten. Little Litten kitten. Cool card. We have a Chatut. And we've got a cutie fly. Not sure what the big thing in the background is, but man, look at the graphics on that. The water like shides is pretty cool. Okay, we got an Arbok. Old school. Going old school. And then we've got a uh, shift tree. Shift try. Kind of like a dark looking feeling to it. Chantal. We had a lot of Chantals. It's probably one of the only ones that actually was centered enough to send off. Um, I have, oh, I have more of the other versions. We have a Nimona. More Iron. So we got Iron uh, Boulder EX. Uh, I started popping them in. I noticed that they went. I was really like to have them uh, squinchal, but they're not going to be. We have Sandy Shocks EX. These are a bunch of Ultras, as you can tell. This is the... Um, Web Trio EX from uh, Temporal Forces. It is one of the shinies, just not a shiny rare. Right? Okay. We have the Hoopa EX. This is from Paradox Rift. In the shiny background. Looking cool. We have two Alteria EXs. These are ultra rares. Uh, they go really nice with my special illustration rares I have. If someone wants to pick them up as a set. We have a Tiracina EX from Paradox Rift. Shiny card. We've got the Professor Turo uh, scenario. We've got Bianca's Devotion. This is uh, also the Temporal Forces newer set. We have Explorer's Guidance. Nice looking shiny card there. And we got a Larry, like from Paradox Rift. Just looks like he's like running a hangover off. Okay, here we go. We have an Incinerator, it's an Incineroar EX. It's another Ultra. We have the Walking Wake EX, another Ultra. And now we're back into a couple illustration rares. Uh, this is the A Kislash. I've, I've tried to even type into Google to see how to pronounce this, and I just can't. I got two of them. I think I sent off two in the last batch. Uh, so this is be number three and four. They both came back as nines. Kind of a bummer. Uh, Porygon Z. Lots of shine. Lots of shine. Uh, we have a Blitzel, a Minin, they're just screaming, just crying about something. Okay, here we go. We have Min Chow, and again, I don't know if I'm messing that name. I apologize if I am. Psychozar, that's an old school looking uh, card right there. Okay, there we go. We have a uh mini mini or like a meteor but mini or we have a uh levetal yavetal this is a ditto yep so that's the ditto one sorry stuff on the plastic so we get the numble ditto there'll be more dittos later one two three three snorlaxes Hoping to get back uh, some tens there. Old school. Here we go. This is back from uh, Rocket. The dark uh, wheezing. Nice and clean. Like super clean. That's just on the on the outside of the plastic. So yeah, super clean. Um, classic stuff. Look at this. Very clean hit box. Or a hollow box uh, from Fossil. A muck. Figured I'd send that one in. I've got a lot of old school stuff. And starting to slowly pepper it in. Uh, the newer stuff got to get off now because his value isn't holding. Uh, Garudon, just an old school Garudon, trying to get uh, those send, kind of peppered in once in a while. Like I said, I have two Nimona's um, special illustration rares that'll be going off. Here we go, Clavel. Looks like he's got to stick up his. Uh, yep, Lucario got a nine on this last time, not this one. I uh, got a nine on it, and I, I should have had an eight, so I was pretty happy about that. There was a ding in it. This one also had a ding in it. I think I worked it out. So I'm taking that one. Hopefully we get it up to a 10 this time. We have a couple more skizzers. We have two of them. So we had two of those EXs earlier. Two of the shinies now. Oricorio is our next one. Also a shiny. Uh, Taurus shiny. 
Paldine Taurus, that is. Okay, we have a Gredient. Gredient. We have a Cleffa. Yeah. Luxray. And if you want any of these, uh, you know, drop, drop me in the comments. Let me know which one you're looking for. Uh, when I get all these back, Charcadet, uh, I will do another show showcasing them and showing you the grade that I got. And then uh, I love to move them then and there at that time. Kadabra, maybe I should do them on my whatnot channel. Do the unboxing and get rid of them right then and there. Sandigast. Arc 9, this is from Detective Pikachu. Uh, low population compared to others, right? So just hoping to pick up uh, a good price there. Pikachu V from Lost. It's a nice looking gallery card, trainer gallery card. You can see the numbers. We have an Iron Valiant EX. This is just an Ultra. We have the Psyduck. I like Psyduck. Not until recently, but they've just kind of really kind of like him. He's kind of a cool little dude. Uh, Moss Hold, there are two of them. Raikou V. This is the um, Galarian Gallery. Raikou V. I've got a couple of those in the past. A couple of tens, a couple of nines. Figured I'd try again with some of them. MTV. Uh, another Galarian Gallery. Take a Tunk. EX. It's an Ultra. Qua Qua Ball. Looking quite confident and dapper. Raging Bolt. Ultra rare. Did not pull a Raging Bolt um, special illustration where I got the Hyper and the Ultra, and then obviously a bunch of the EXs. Ting Lu. EX. We had quite a few gold ones come back. I think they all sold. I think they all sold like within a couple days of being back. One of them I think sold before I even actually had it in hand. Um, Bremlin. Okay. Fukoko. Last time I sent one of these off, it came back as like a nine, I think. So I'm hoping to finally pull a 10 Fukoko. Okay, we have a uh, Saws Buck. Saws Buck. Here we go. A couple more of those dittos I promised you. So really nice, clean looking dittos. They got the little ditto marker down there. So hopefully, hopefully get some tens. I've had horrible luck getting tens in those dittos. So hopefully we can. One, two, three, four Pidgeys. They were just coming out every other pack, you know, Obsidian Flames. Uh, opened a ton of Obsidian Flames too. Really would have liked to get some other cards, but I got a ton of those. All right, got a wrapper for the, the things. Okay. Pidgeotto. Pidgeot. So got a whole collection of those kind of cards. We got the Mew EX. From you, the pink one goes well with those hyper rares I had. A couple Glaceons, part of that Eevee Evolution set. This is from Crown. This is uh, the Glaring Gallery. So it's a couple of those nice looking cards. Then we've got uh, another Jengar, which really she would have been uh, entered at the same time. I just kind of kept adding um, to it. Then we have more Charizards. We finish off with Charizards Radiant. Charizard looks pretty clean. I took some really bad cut ones of those, but that was pretty clean. This is um, Obsidian Flames. This is the Chase one on Obsidian Flames. Now, again, I'm hoping that they nail me for uh, an upcharge uh, and try to bump it up a bracket. Uh, I'm totally happy when that happens because then it's worth more than I was predicting. But, you know, in case it's a nine, I didn't want to pay the extra fee. And I'm sending back as a nine. So if I send back as a nine, I'll probably resubmit it under a higher uh, price point. See what I can get second time. So we've got the other Obsidian Flames. So this is the Ultra. And then I've got the Obsidian Flames. So I have the whole set of them. I've got the Rare, the Ultra, and the whatever. So I'm hoping that we can get three tenths. That would make me very really happy. These are going to be a couple of the promos. This is uh, promo number 56. So these ones came out of uh, the box, the premium collector box that had the, the display case or display thing. And then last one. Uh, is the Charizard EX, and you can see that this is from you. So we're going to finish with the Pokemon 151, and I'm hoping we get some pretty good stuff. All right, so we got two giveaways. Here's how this works. Thanks for sticking around and watching the show. Um, all you have to do is if I pull your name, and you are in the 48 states, so if you're in Alaska or Hawaii, you have to pay the shipping. 
you're somewhere else in the world, you got to pay the shipping. Otherwise, it's free. I'll ship them for free and I'll get them out uh, next week. So we're just going to shuffle these up and then we're going to do uh, one name for each one of those two promo cards up there. And then I ship them out for free. It's real simple. Uh, all you have to do is reach out to me at gmpokey001 at gmail. That's gmpokey001 at gmail. And uh, tell me where you want it shipped. If you don't want them, that's fine. I'll put them in the next giveaway. Uh, but we'll keep them rolling and we'll pay it forward. If you want them, then uh, just tell me where to send it. And it's free. Like I said, unless you're you know, outside of the 48 states, which case, then you cover shipping. But at that point, I don't think it's worth it to you. So 48 states, you're the winner. We have got Ray Ray. Ray, Ray, Ray. I will tag the actual full username. That's not the full username, but it's it's Ray Ray Toys Z is our winner of the more Pico. So slide this in there. So remember who it's supposed to go to. There we go. And our other giveaway is going to uh, it's it's up. Let me see if I can read this. It's up so sphere. Something like something along those lines. I have I have the name. The reason these people got into the drawing on the right now is because they um, left comments on videos. So they're randomly going to win. If they don't want the card and you don't want it shipped, or if you're not in the in the 40, uh, the mainland 48 states, then obviously you just let me know and I'll pay it forward to someone else. But then these guys also thank you for dropping comments. Jim's left tons of comments on our channel. Do appreciate that, guys. And then going forward for any comments from this day, we'll go into our next live giveaway. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this PSA uh, submission show and if you want to see what grade they got when they come back make sure you're leaving comments so i can give you an update and you can see uh the next time they show up see you guys later